everyone. Welcome to Black Link Magazine. I am your host, M. Valette Sunshine. I am the CEO, founder, and chief editor of Black Link Magazine. And we have Mr. Andre King here with us. And we're so delighted. Andre, welcome. Thank you guys for having me. Yay. Thank you for being here, you guys. We kind of got our times mixed up, but we got it together. So got we're together. excited. Got it mm -hmm. together. That's what we do, right? We work it out. Um, so, yeah, so Andre, it's just a pleasure to have you. Um, you guys, thank you for tuning in. Please hit the button below. Um, leave your comments. We would love to see what you think about the interview. And we're just going to jump right in. So Andre, gosh, you wear, you wear a lot of hats. You do a lot of things. So yeah. uh, go ahead and introduce to the world who you are in case they don't know who you are. Let them know who you are. Okay, well, I am the world-renowned Andre King, and that's a fashion model and stylist, and now coming into my own, working on my makeup line. So, entrepreneur. Yes, congratulations on that as well. We'll talk. I want to talk about. Um, first of all, you fashion. You are the fashion designer for celebrity. Your celebrity stylist. Um, let's talk about that and how that is. How did you become? what was it that brought you into the fashion world? We know who you're connected to. So so what about your own? What brought you into that? Well, just, I really just had a passion for fashion. That's how I kind of started doing the modeling. And then once, you know, from me just being on set and just kind of being behind the scenes, I kind of really got a, a handful into it and just loved it. So then from modeling, I kind of just would do my own little like styling from my friends here and there. And then- my brother gave me the opportunity to style for the Valley campaign, which he actually had a capsule collection for. And I did that and just there, just kind of like picked up and just sky's the limit. That's right. Well, congratulations on that for your brother. He trusted you to do that. And so that says a lot about your work and what you do. So I understand that, you know, that Swiss Beats, if we can say that is your brother. That's my brother. That's right. That's your brother. <laughs> He's is your sister-in-law. And um, mm -hmm. so we know their status and, and, you know, what they're about. But let's talk about Andre. At what point, right. Andre, did you say, I think I made it. I think, like, I'm in, I'm in the place that I love. I, I've done this. At what point was that? I feel like there's no moment in place that I even had like that. I feel like every day I just continue to grow. I continue to stay humble. No matter how many private jets or fancy restaurants that I've been at, I always just remain humble and just a work ethic that is constant on the grind. I wake up at seven every morning and I just have responsibilities that I just have to get done. And not only me, that it's like, it's not only me. It's like when you have a whole team and people that are depending on you and it's like, it's so much bigger than you. You know what I mean? So I have to always show up. Sometimes I don't want to get out of bed and I want to stay in bed and lay out. But just knowing that those people are depending on you, it matters. It makes it makes the most for me just to like thrive me to just do better and just want to continue to go, you know? So yeah. I never have that comfortability of just like I've made it. Every day, like I said, it's like, I just hustle. I, I love that about you. I love the humbleness, right? Because it's yeah. very different. I mean, you can feel like you're, um, you know, you, you don't have to do those things, right? But you're humble. No, and I, I, love I love it. I, I love like... I mean, a man is a man that works and you know what I mean? People will take you seriously when they see you, you hustling and just like, just making your path. And just me being Swiss's brother has been a challenge because everybody thinks I'm either spoiled or I have it made, which is not even the, the, the concept. It's like, I really have to grind for what I want, what I want out of life. Right. And I think that as normal people, just normal individuals, when we look on the outside looking in, they automatically say that, well, I'm, he's connected to Swiss, so he got it, man. He don't have to worry about or or and actually, it just really, it's crazy because even Swiss being my brother, I feel like I really, especially with me modeling, like I really felt like I had to really prove myself just to the industry because they're like, oh, this is Swiss's brother. It was so cliche. But him coming from kind of the whole rap industry and then that me intertwining with the whole fashion and now he's into fashion and like I said with the ballet line and everything it's just all I feel like it's all full circle you know I think so and I think the main thing and what's most important what you said is you have to stay true to yourself and to who you are absolutely, right? absolutely. You know, can't put yourself on a pedestal and, and just feel like you're privileged. Oh, if I would have ever listened to any people back then of what they told me, what I should be doing for myself or what they see me doing, I would never just be even to wake up and just have the, the drive that I do have now because I'm my own boss and I'm, I make my own rules and that's what it is. 
Wow. And that's why I'm glad that I was able to sit down with you so we can get that out to the world, to the young people yeah. that are coming behind us, right? Behind you to say that, be yourself, be true to you. And I think that's oh, what you're, you're, you get your greatest rewards when you're true to yourself. And just be, you. Absolutely. don't let people or money change who you are. And I also believe that, what do you think about this? That when you work for what you get, you, you, you appreciate it more. Right. Oh, one thousand percent. One thousand percent. It's just when you really are working for it, it's a, just a different. You just value it so differently. You know what I mean. You're not spending that money at Dior like you. It's right. just somebody just is buying it for you. You know what I mean. Right. So it's just a whole different mindset and concept, and just being responsible and just like you know what I mean. Money comes and goes, so you have to be frugal and just like it has to last you. But maybe you get paid this. You know, I was on the show for one season and then I wasn't working again. So it's like you have to stretch that money and make it really make sense. And then also just do other things that are also going to um, just, you know, juvenile money and just. Wow. Women helping other women learn, grow and empower. Learn new things. Grow from what you learn. Empower others to do the same. So, so let's talk about the modeling, the modeling aspect of your life, because I looked at, you know, I was able to see some shots from you and I, amazing model, amazing, very photogenic. So, so and, and very handsome. And so what was it just, it was just like another piece of that, uh, that fashion part of you in you that you wanted to model? I was in New York and I just had the opportunity to do Rip the Runway. And that's kind of how the world got a chance to see me. I did Rip the Runway for maybe like two or three years. And that really opened up my whole career with split the modeling. And it just, I mean, it, it, it just took over from there, literally. And bye then bye. just being in New York and like just living that life, like I really loved it. I loved being in New York every day, going to the go seats and like the castings and being with my model friends. Like it was a world that was like, un, that any, no one could dream about. Like it really is like a life, it's a lifetime opportunity. Oh yeah, I can imagine. Let's talk yeah. about and when we're talking about the entertainment business, the fashion world, the model world, and we talk about. Uh, I hear a lot of conversation around how grimy the business can be, and how uh, that plays, and that's another part of you being true to yourself. And tell me, have you had any experience? I had a deal. I had a deal with this one company, and we had book bags. It was a book bag line, and the book bags were going for ten thousand right. dollars, and. I could just tell you from out of there, we, we made no money from it. And I mean, basketball players would hit me like buying the bags out. So something's not weighing out. Something doesn't make sense. So I just took that to say it's like business is business. You know, I kind of didn't know what I was doing back then. And I just didn't have the right team. And it's OK, because it's always like a learning experience. It was my college. It was my, you know, for me just to kind of understand, OK, this business. like it's not about the friendship and oh you know being cool it's about this is money involved in, in people's lives so I just took that experience as like just knowing my worth and never allowing to no, do no more bad deals <laughs> right that's right you know what we all live and learn and Definitely. sometimes we're going to bump our heads but I think the biggest thing about bumping our head or failing is the lesson that it took a while for me honestly to even want to go continue this journey and just like want to be back on the scene and do photo shoots like I was so over it all and I, and I just was complacent with just living my daily life for me but, but now it's like I have a bigger purpose and I know like people want to see me and people love me and just my energy so it's like I have a duty just to give I think so and, and it's important that people around you your team if we can let's kind of spin it just a little bit um you were on growing up hip-hop um, yes. And how was your experience with that? Like we saw you in Growing Up Hip Hop and we know that from, you know, just reading about you, you and Angela are, are friends. Like she's like a sister to you. She's so beautiful. Yeah. So tell us yeah. about that. The experience was totally, totally amazing. Like I really enjoyed it. I had a great time with the whole cast. Like it was just, honestly, it was just like, just a, a moment in time where I was like, I can never get back. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. I enjoyed it. It was, it, it was, it is for what it was. And like, I'm happy with the outcome, you know what I mean? Yeah. It was I an experience, and I can say that. Women helping others with the gifts that they have. Contact Crystal Ifakoya, the founder and creator of WOW. Why not? Yeah, I mean, I've been kind of like doing little appearances here and there, doing the modeling stuff on like a couple of shows, 
and I have some other things up and coming. But like reality, I just kind of didn't really want to like, once I did that, I was kind of just like I was turned off. You. My real life is like, like I really deal with these people and like real celebrities and real people. So it's like for an hour show and somebody to judge you off of an hour, it's like, I, you know. You know, that's what I have conversations about when I talk to other celebrities. It's like, we, no one, we really don't get to know you in a 30 minute or hour show for however long it runs for a couple of weeks, right? That's really not, we don't get to know who Andre King is. Exactly, Especially how the show did me. Like I didn't go, I didn't do another season. So pretty much I just did that first one. They got a whole glimpse of me and then it was like, boom, he's vanished. Where is he? You know what I mean? So my fans were asking like, where are you? We want to see you. So how I was doing really like a lot of my appearances, I would have so many people that would come and see me and give me so much love and support. Like just at the clubs, it was crazy. And for a male, like, to be booked just to be doing appearances is, like, that's pretty big. Oh, yeah, that's a big deal. So, yeah. I, well, I was just kind of wondering how that whole reality thing worked. Uh, I just, I always wondered, you know, um, does it affect your real life um, oh, after yeah. doing it in a negative way? Um, is it impactful at all in a good way? It's like people feel like they know you and it's like, that's just not the real. And, like, I really live a real fabulous life you know what I mean so it's like please for that hour I and somebody judging you it's like I don't I'm I don't really entertain it you know what I mean so pretty much no more reality for you if they offered I mean I kind of have a deal that I'm I'm looking into now but okay. I mean it's like reality is kind of you can't go away from it you know what I mean I feel like it's the new normal it's the new norm yeah yeah so I kind of can't go away from it but I'm just kind of like being more mindful of just the things that I do. You know what I mean? I understand. It's all about now like my, my brand, the makeup line, my skincare line, things that I'm working on that's all gonna tie in. Not me drama and some some boy. so let's talk about your makeup line. What's going on? Yes, yeah, so yeah. excited. So so excited. I have a um it's a men's makeup line that I'm working on. Wow. So it's gonna be it's called Made Man, man made um man made cosmetics mm -hmm. and it's uh makeup for men. Okay. Awesome, awesome, awesome. So is yeah, it in the beautiful work? Beautiful skin. Yes, beautiful. <laughs> <laughs> You're beautiful. <laughs> These are my products that I have. And basically it's like just a nice coverage because every time I would go to set and be modeling, they would always pull out like Bobby Brown and makeup cover girl. It was never like a specific makeup brand for a man and made for a man by a man. That so makes like, you. I was like, I have something. Let me, let me, let me cook on this. And I've just been sitting on it for a while. And I actually do facials as well. So yeah. with the whole skincare line and just the facials and it's a whole lifestyle. Have you, has, has other men tried your line? I mean, is, are you ready to like yeah, launch? It's, 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 um, I'm just now prepping everything. We're about okay. to launch soon. Hopefully I want to say like maybe June, July. Oh. I should have everything. I should have some samples and everything. I can give you some stuff. But it's really, it's really, it's like unisex. It's going to go for men. So and when you whatever. do a makeup line, let me ask you this. When you do a makeup line, do you have something like your cleansers before you put the makeup on the after effect? Because what I, what I, what I struggle with is first of all, finding stuff for my complexion. Right. Um, when you have kind of two different tones. So I just right. kind of throw something on. And then right. also the cleansing of it and really getting it off because that See, can happen. I mean, if I could literally show you, I don't know how I could flip this, but I mean, when I tell you, let me just bring so, it. Yeah. I mean, I literally have the full spa oh, machine. Wow. Like, yeah. So I'm yeah. really into it. <laughs> You're doing it. Yeah, so I do like, you know, I, I'm all about just like healthy skin, clean skin. Yeah. And then now I'm going more into like the formulas and just like the products. Good, good, good. So you have a whole team that's like guiding you through that and helping you with through that that process? Yeah. And I also have like a partnership with a, a, a collaboration with another lady that I'm working with. So we'll have that coming soon. That'll probably come out before my line. And okay. then we'll do the man-made cosmetics, which will be so Awesome. Andre, I'm so proud and I'm happy for you. I wish you nothing but the best. What What do you have as far as modeling or as far as acting that's coming up that you can talk about? I know sometimes you got things in the work you can't talk about. Anything you can talk about? 
I know. Just kind of look forward to just the, the okay. man-made cosmetics and just the skincare and makeup line and just more photo shoots to come and just see me on magazines. <laughs> yes, Black Link Magazine. Absolutely, so, um, Black anyways, Link. Thank you guys so much. Yes, thank you for coming. So um, how can people reach you um, if they want to interview you, they want to know about your, your the makeup line and the model and all that. How do you, how do you people reach you? Well, they can find me on Instagram at Andre King Brand, or they can reach out to my manager, which is Miss Jackie, and we just go from there. Andre King Brand PR at gmail.com. You can also email email me there. Okay. Um, shout out to Jackie, Miss Jackie. She connected us, and I, I just she's yeah. awesome. she's amazing. Oh, that's my love. I love yeah. her. Yeah. She, she's been I've been riding with her for like forever, literally. Yeah. So so dedicated, and that's what I love. See people sticking with you and just believing in you. Believing in you, yeah. Oh, you're blessed to have people in your corner because there's a lot of people that are in your in your position, but it's just like struggling because I can't trust this person. This person's doing me Absolutely. bad. I have to look over my shoulder and you shouldn't have to do that when you're in the position that you're in. So yeah, yeah. I'm happy for you. Um, I love awesome. your family. I love your brother and your sister-in-law. I love you now, Andre. You're my new BFF. And so you. Um, you guys um, go out and follow Andre. Um, watch yes, out for yes, them. Yes. yes. And watch out for that makeup line. I'm going to be watching because I need some cleanser, Andre. I need your help. Yes, I'm going to hook you up. I mean, you got to actually come get a facial from me. I'm going to come and get a facial from you. I mean, it's you a whole hour me. process. It's a whole hour. I do a hand treatment, a foot treatment, and then I do the whole hour um, just skin cleansing. So It's crazy. You're in, you're in Atlanta. I'll be there June 3rd through the 6th. It may not be out by then, huh? Well, no, but I still got, I got the machine. I got, oh, I got you, boo. Okay. I got you. All right. So I'm going to put well, it on the calendar. I, I'm going to put it on your calendar. I'm going to be there. So anyway, yeah. I, I appreciate your time. Everybody, please go follow him, support him. Yeah. Let's support yeah. each other. Uh, before we go, I got one more thing. One more thing, Andre. Yes. What about the racism stuff? We got to talk about that because you're going to be in the, the Juneteenth Celebrate Black. And you know what we've been going through as a culture. What is your take I mean, on it's that? Just, I feel like it's just so sad and horrible. Hopefully this, this world is coming more together and we just are staying united and just kind of like sticking with each other because honestly, at this point, we're all that we have. We're all that we have. And that's, well, I agree with that. We got to stand together and not, Absolutely. not uh, stop the black on black crime and let's just come together. And if everybody do their part, their individual part, we could do, we could be a lot. It makes such a difference. Absolutely. Yeah. Well, thank you, Andre. Thank you so much once again. Awesome. I'll talk to you soon. I'll see you next